What's going on, everybody? We have some breaking news for you. Okay, Seattle-based freight uh, freight matching freight broker, mega freight broker, valued at $3.8 billion as of April of 2022, has apparently shuttered. Now, this is a huge story because, one, it's a huge freight brokerage to just suddenly go under. And secondly, well, it's a huge freight, freight brokerage to suddenly go under. Anyway, so Convoy. Convoy was founded in 2017 by two ex-Amazon executives. They came together. They formed this company. They raised a staggering, like, almost $100 million, uh, $67 million uh, right away in 2017. They raised another hundred and something million dollars in, in 2018, and then a half a billion dollars, roughly, in 2019, right? And as of April of 2022 they had a valuation of 3.8 billion dollars 1500 employees not sure what kind of it what what the employee numbers are in the united states versus overseas it's kind of this awful trend to take american jobs and send them overseas in the logistics industry and i wish nobody would do it and you would give people jobs here in america where they need them but some people don't. They do this nearshoring, offshoring, whatever you want to call it. I call it ha, screwing over America, but whatever. Uh, but a lot of big companies, I have no inclination, or I don't know if, if Convoy is doing it. I can only imagine they, they are, just like pretty much all big brokerages are doing that. Anyway, news started coming around last night, but it was really trickling in that the Convoy app was down, right? That there were no loads available. And the Convoy app was down. Now, when one of these technology companies goes out, that's a big deal, right? And, and you could log in last night, but then when you go to search anything, there were no loads available. Then they got news that all the Convoy, you know, it started spreading on social media that all the Convoy loads on, social, uh, on the load boards like DAT and Truck Stop and all, they all got pulled last night as well so then it started speculating then the the podcast which if you don't listen to him you should freight caviar uh they tweeted out that they have sources that are saying convoy pulled all their loads and there's going to be a, a, a statement made in the next 48 hours but you know it seems that they're done now this comes on the morning that craig fuller freight wave ceo tweeted out that there's going to be some very big uh, freight brokerages who are not going to be able to withstand the next couple of months and that several of them are already hemorrhaging money. Now, this is crazy because he it did not report about Convoy. Now, I can only speculate that he knew about it and he couldn't say anything for whatever reason, but that's just pure speculation because it, otherwise that guy is like, he forecasts what's going to happen in the future based on the data of Sonar and everyone should probably subscribe, right? Because if it tells you if a company's going under, you can protect yourself. But this company is huge. Right before I started doing this show, they were still a buy by our factoring company because I work for a carrier. Uh, they were still a buy by another factoring company that I checked. Since I started, right before I started, like I checked and then I made a couple of edits on this video and then I was, said, screw it, I'm just going to do it again. And uh, I checked again. They're a no buy by some of the nation's largest factoring companies. So I don't think it's fair to say it's only speculation at this point, which is what I said in the previous videos that I recorded and, not, and I'm not publishing, so it's pointless to talk about. But apparently... The thing that I find really eerie about this is there's no mention of this on social media, uh, on like LinkedIn and stuff like that. Sure, people are talking about it and, and trying to figure out if they're in fact closed. But typically one thing you could do if you're trying to figure out if a company is going belly up, the one thing you could do is jump on LinkedIn and look at the employees because they're posting about how they don't have jobs anymore. There are none of those posts right now, which is very, very weird. And so the only people that are now forecasting whether or not this company is shut down essentially comes from someone that says they have inside sources that say they have shut down. Nobody else has released a statement. Convoy hasn't released a statement. And can you imagine if they didn't shut down <laughs> and their app just froze or something and that's why all the loads had to be pulled down? That would be kind of crazy. But if you have convoy invoices out, I don't know what this means for you, but hopefully you get paid. And, and the people that are going to be most affected by this shutdown, if, it, if they are in fact shutting down, are, again, the people that always seem to be affected. The small independent carriers, the owner ops that are booking on the load boards, that are trying to stay current, trying to do everything. Now your factors are going to be like, ah, we're not sure if we're going to get our money. If you have recourse factoring, phew, they're probably going to pull that advance back. I don't know how it works. I can only speculate that's what they'll do. 
they're on a no buy. So if you know they, they probably move thousands of loads a day. So if you delivered loads yesterday or the day before, but you didn't have time to factor them, you're gonna send them in, and your factoring company is gonna be like, "You're hit, bro." You're, you know, try to get your money some other way because we ain't buying that one, which it's going to cause a big ruffle. It's going to ruffle some feathers is what I'm trying to say. You know, I, <clears throat> this is live breaking now, so there's not a lot of information about it. I will be live today at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Facebook, social, you know, all social media, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Kick, <laughs> and FreightBrokerLive.com. If you want a chance to see, or if you want to know what's going on, I'll bring you real-time alerts as much as I can. Tune in tonight, 8 o'clock, for an all-new episode of Freight Broker Live. Is Convoy gone? Has has the Convoy shipped? Has is the con- Did the Convoy crash? I, I don't know. I'll think of a fancy title for it. Anyway, see all of you guys at 8 o'clock tonight. My goodness, what a news day. <laughs>